Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video, this time with some builds for the newly added MK47 Mutant Assault Rifle after I finally climbed my way high enough up in level to unlock this beauty and give it a try for a day or two. This rifle is an awesome addition to Escape from Tarkov in my opinion, and something I've been looking forward to for quite a while. It's basically an AR platform rifle that fires 7.62 AK rounds, so it kind of breathes a whole new life into that caliber. This is really awesome because both the budget PS rounds and the top tier BP and MAI rounds are great ammo types that were kind of limited to only a few AKs in the SKS, which are great rifles in their own right, but they struggled to compete with the top tier choices in other calibers. Personally, I think the Mutant is in a really good place upon its initial release. It has a slightly higher fire rate than an AK-103, but much lower recoil. The overall time to kill is about identical to the 7.62 MDR, though it has less recoil, more attachments, and better magazines. I think the MK-47 is going to be a very popular choice for a lot of people, simply because the price is pretty reasonable for either a budget or a fully kitted PvP setup. The only major disadvantage for the Mutant is that the 7.62 AK ammo doesn't really do well at longer ranges, and the MAI AP ammo, which you'll need to take out class 6 armor really well, is very rare and therefore very expensive even compared to some other ammo types. I don't think it's so good that it's going to make top tier builds on something like an M4, HK, MP7, or M1A obsolete or anything like that, but it's very simple to build in comparison to other guns and it's quite a bit cheaper to set up, so overall it's just a really solid choice. If anything gets nerfed about the Mutant, I predict it'll be the price and potentially being quest locked like they did with the Vector. Other than that, it's a really solid addition, so with my thoughts on the MK47 out of the way, let's get started by taking a look at a really solid budget build that I was using right after I unlocked this thing. For this setup, I was focusing on adding some reasonable upgrades onto the Mutant that are available from the traders or for a reasonable price on the flea market. You can't upgrade the barrel right away and the top tier buffer tube is also locked until level 40, so I was using the stock short barrel configuration. I was running this setup with PS rounds, and at least now during the early stages of the patch, it felt like more than enough stopping power, since most players are only running around in level 3 and 4 armor, which PS takes care of quite well. This setup doesn't have the greatest long range accuracy, but it was definitely very fun for close to mid range fights, and the recoil was definitely reasonable enough to go full auto when you needed to. First up on this build, I went with the Fortis Red Muzzle Break off of the Flea Market, which is a fairly stable price of about 20,000 rubles because it drops from Gluhar's M1A and a few other places. This part gives a really solid recoil reduction and some other bonuses as well. If this piece is too expensive on the market, you can also search for other AR-10 muzzle devices like the Atlas, the Shrewd, or the Pro Comp on the Flea Market. For a budget suppressor, I was using the Gemtech 1 suppressor with the mount. It doesn't have the best recoil stats, but it is pretty cheap compared to basically any other suppressor that'll fit on this thing. Next, you want to get a pair of M-Lock rails for the handguard, and then I added the Magpul RVG grip and an X400 flashlight. The foregrip is a really nice boost to both recoil and ergonomics for a good price, and the X400 is just my all-around favorite tactical device. For the stock, I always think that the MOE carbine stock with the rubber butt pad is the ideal choice for builds like this because of its balanced stats, but you can also check out the Chris DS150. 50 stock for a cheaper option without losing much in the stats department. Finally, for your choice of sight, it's kind of up to you. I actually kind of like the new Valde Cretchet sight as a really cheap option for this build, and the ergo penalty on it didn't really matter because this thing has really high base ergonomics. Alternatively, I've been absolutely loving the new reworked Elkan Spectre scope, and honestly you should definitely give this a try now because all of the modes on it work amazing and the flea market price is pretty nice. When this is all put together, you're looking at 69 recoil and 71 ergonomics for a total cost of around 145,000 rubles. For a perspective, this isn't very far off from a fully built meta AK-103, and it fires faster, so I think it's a really solid build. You can also use the three-piece Lantac Blast Mitigation combo on here for some great recoil stats, and you can use the three-piece Sig Suppressor combo as well, but these are higher level, more expensive options. I just figured I would point them out here just in case you wanted to try out a seriously upgraded short barrel build. Thank you. 
Next up in this video, we'll be taking a look at the top tier setup for the Mutant, which uses a lot of parts that aren't unlocked until level 4 traders, so you'll need to be basically max level before you can put this thing together at a reasonable price. You can still find these parts on the market, but you'll be looking at like 1 to 200,000 rubles or more each just for the barrel and the buffer tube, so I don't really recommend using the market for this build unless you're seriously loaded or just really want to try out this build. This version of the Mutant build has some impressively low recoil stats, which make it a real beast in close to mid-range fights, especially with some decent ammo. It is still going to struggle at long range, but this build is definitely going to give the top tier M4 and HK builds a run for their money in the end game. First up, you want to swap the barrel over to the extended 409mm MK47 barrel, which gets a nice initial recoil reduction. Next, you want to swap the buffer tube over to the SI Advanced Buffer Tube, and both of these parts are available at Mechanic Level 4. For the muzzle device, the best option all around on this top tier build is the 3-piece SIG Suppressor Combo, which starts with the T-Lock Muzzle Adapter and the SIG 2-Port Muzzle Brake. Then you attach the SIG SRD QD Suppressor onto these pieces, and you have a combo that gets you awesome recoil stats and suppresses your shots at the same time. Sadly, this longer barrel does not accept the blast mitigation device, at least not currently, so this is by far the best option for the muzzle. Next up for the handguard, you have a few choices, but the best all-around option is one of the Noveski N6 handguards. There's two different types of this, and they both have the same stats, so pick whichever one is cheapest on the market or from the traders, though I think the split version looks a lot cooler. You can also use the SR25 handguard or the extended mutant handguard, but this Noveski option is the best all-around choice in my opinion. For my grip, I was using the RK1 in my builds, which has a pretty good balance of recoil with no ergonomics penalty. But you can also use the shift grip for better ergonomics, or the RK2 for better recoil, and all three choices are pretty viable options. For the stock, you want to go with the same one I used on the budget build, the MOE carbine stock and the rubber butt pad, which gives you balanced stats all around. You can also use the PRS stock for a bit better recoil, but it's a lot more money for a pretty small improvement. You can also add a pistol grip if you want, but the default option is already pretty solid. For an upgrade, I recommend the Grawl S pistol grip, just like every other AR platform build. Finally, for your choice of optic, really anything is going to be a good choice, just keep in mind that you're going to struggle making really long shots using sniper scopes with this thing. I really like the EOTech hollow sights for pretty much any of my builds, and I'll also again recommend the Elcan Spectre for an affordable scope that basically has an option for everything. When this build is all put together, you're looking at 39 recoil and about 43 ergonomics for a total cost of around 270,000 rubles if everything is bought for a good price from the traders. Overall, I think the stats combined with the price make this thing a true beast of a weapon, able to compete with the M4 and HK while costing about 25% less overall. Well that about covers it for my first look at the MK47 Mutant, Tarkov's newest fancy rifle. I think this is a much needed addition, and I would really love to see some other modern rifles using this caliber in the future, like the SIG 556 or the MCX chambered in 7.62x39. Only time will tell whether or not this thing gets hit by the nerf stick in one way or another, but I think we should give it a month or two before we pass too much judgement. It is really good, but so are a lot of other setups in the game, and this thing comes with a few built in disadvantages. In any case, I hope the build guides help you out, and let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for checking out the video, I've got links to my Twitch stream, Discord server, and Patreon page down below for anyone interested, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City.